Welcome everybody to Scott Cooks. I know I got the camera facing the wrong way for this one. I wanted to let y'all know something that uh, you probably do not know because I never told anybody. But yeah, I got the type 2 diabetes, had it for about five years now, and had my A1C checked the other day at the VA. Way too high. So we're making some changes. We're going low carb as much as we can. It's hard to go completely no carb. It's really difficult. But we're going low carb, very low sugar, et cetera, et cetera. We're trying to bring this A1C back down somewhere normal. Um, I do take some medicine, but it, it, it had shot up uh, and I was getting that. If you have diabetes, you know what I'm going to talk about. I had that little fuzzy feeling in the head. Didn't feel right. Anyway, I feel great now. Um, slight medication adjustment <coughs> and um, slight, uh, a big time diet adjustment. So let's make some low carb um, dinner tonight using our foodie. So, to go carb-free, for me anyway, is all, I feel like it's impossible, um, unless you just eat a steak for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But, here's what we're going to do. This is going to be a dinner meal. So, I grabbed this at the uh, uh, Walmart here a little while ago. Said, well, I haven't eaten these things in 15 years. And then I saw this bun. I was like, well, I can't put it on a bun. There's your carbs right there, man. So I got a new, I got a better idea. So we're going to cook these in our foodie. Got me some cheese. No carbs. No carb, no carb. And look at this. This is auto keto. This is also keto, by the way. I don't really care about keto, but carb watch. So this, they, they do this, but through a little trickery. Because you talk to your doctor and uh, you get the, the gist of it. So yeah, there's carbs here, but it's very high fiber. And then you basically subtract the fiber from the carbs and you end up with practically no carbs at all. <laughs> That's kind of like a banana. You can eat a nice sweet banana when you got type 2 diabetes, nice and sweet, but because of the high fiber content, it's perfectly safe for your blood sugar level. Anyway, let's get going. Hey, I forgot an ingredient. Uh, oh, by the way, I'll be using mayo on the, on the sandwich there, the wrap. Uh, also no carbs. And I also grabbed me some of these baby bells. I really like these. They're really good flavor. Uh, so we're going to chop up these and probably just throw them right in there with the, the grease from the meat and cook them right up. Anyway, that's everything. Here's my foodie pot. All right, this is what it looks like. It looks like a bunch of uh, thick steaks. That's what you get here when you open the bag. But we know they're not. Uh, if you've ever had this stuff before. So what's going to happen here is these are going to... That's going to shred down for us as we cook it. And um, we're going to put all of them in. That's way more than I need for the, a couple wraps, but that'll give us some leftovers for lunch tomorrow. I've got some canola oil here. Now, obviously, this is going to create its own grease and fat, but we got to do something to get it started. So I'm not going to measure, but that's uh, about a tablespoon or so, a tablespoon and a half, guesstimating. And uh, we're ready to go ahead and put that in the foodie. And once we get this uh, browned up, we're going to just throw our mushrooms right in there and just mix it together. And uh, that's how we're going to do it. All right, this is pretty basic. Um, so I'm going to tell you a couple little things that I do here in a second. So let's turn it on, switch it over to sear saute. Uh, number one for me, I do not like H5, high five. I do not like it. It is, ju it'll just burn the heck out of anything. H4 is where I go. I like high four for my sear saute. Let's go ahead and start. Now, you may notice, let me pan up slightly here. You may notice I have the lid down. Yes, you can sear saute with the lid down or the lid up. I like to start with the lid down. I like to, it builds heat faster. And then I open the lid and complete the process. So I can't give you a time on that. It depends on what you're trying to cook. But I'm going to start with lid down. And basically when I start hearing the, the sizzles noise, I'll pop the lid and just leave it for the rest of the time. All right, I really don't have another meal planned for these mushrooms. We're going to use them all. We love mushrooms. I'm just going to do a couple rough cuts here. Throw them in. Once we get the good and browned up over there. Make sure we're filming. Uh, we'll throw these right in. These are going to cook pretty fast. All right, I'm not sure if you can 
pick up that sizzle on the mic. Let me get over here closer. And that tells me it's time to open up because we are most certainly sizzling. And that's what I was talking about breaking up. Let me get you a little closer in there a little bit. There you go. And uh, as these cook, they're just gonna shred. There's also another style you can buy that um, is more like sheets, very, very thin sheets. I've had that one too. So once we get uh, these got to go just a little more cook time for me. And then we will go ahead and just literally just throw these in. And this getting mixed in with the flavor from the beef and everything. <clears throat> it's going to be good. You can see I've got a little bit of pink left, but not much. And that pink is going to cook out really fast because it's broken down into very small pieces now. And I know some of you are saying, well, why didn't you use onions? Because I would have, I probably would have, except uh, have the other half that's going to be eating these. She doesn't like onions. And honestly, I forgot to buy them. <laughs> so it kind of worked out in her favor. Because if I had bought them, I probably would have used them. <laughs> Just a little bit. Maybe only for me. But uh, no, this is pretty good. Now, you know, you also could throw in a green pepper if you want to go all uh, East Coast Atlantic City style. But um, no, this with the cheese um, and the uh, low carb wrap. So we're after a low carb meal here for dinner. To get this ready, pretty simple. I've got a microwave proof plate here. I'm gonna take a slice of the Swiss and I'm gonna put it right dead center. That way I can roll. And we're gonna pop this in the microwave. I'll A, to slightly soften the cheese and B, to warm the tortilla. And then we'll put our very, very hot meat mushroom mixture on it. And we'll take a second slice of cheese and we'll go right over top of that hot meat. Hopefully it'll melt just a little bit. And then we're going to roll that thing up. Um, I did mention mayonnaise. Um, I think we might go a little mayo, but I don't want to put that in the microwave. So once it comes out, I think I'll spread a little. I'm going to sprinkle the meat and the mushrooms that are sauteing in the foodie with a little bit of my favorite. Well, all right, that's 30 seconds in the microwave. Got it nice and melty. Got my tortilla nice and warmed up. Let's get some of this good stuff on there. All right, before we get too crazy, let's get a little mayo. Now you may not like mayo. Maybe there's another spread you'd rather have on yours. We're just gonna slosh a little around there. We like mayonnaise on most things. It's also really good to cook with, by the way. Next time you make a grilled cheese, put mayonnaise on the outside of the bread instead of butter and grill it and tell me what you think. And we're gonna kind of move it down about three quarters of the way down. Standard wrap situation. Not too much or it won't roll. Let's take that other piece of cheese we're talking about and we'll just kind of let that naturally melt over the top. And let's roll. Literally. Yes, sometimes this is a messy job. You could put gloves on for this one. I'm not going to bother. Oh, okay. A little comes out. No big deal. Look at that. That is a thing of beauty. Look at that. We're going to let that sit for just a second while we prepare our mixed vegetables for the side. Let that cheese melt and then I'll cut it in half for you. Then we'll give it a quick taste test. Well, there you go. Uh, I guess I was going to make a joke. I'm going to say it anyway because it's funny. So healthy food doesn't have to suck. So, so this is healthy. Uh, more importantly for me, it's low carb. In fact, I would say this is no carb. Um, I think there's maybe two net grams in a whole package of these. But anyway, let's slice her down for a sec. Let's see what we're working with. <laughs> oh my goodness. Is that something or what? Well, it's not going to stay the way I want it, but I'll just get you a close up here. Look at that beautiful wrap. That is going to be a fantastic dinner. Um, we're going to keep it low carb. Nothing fancy, no, no um, honey or anything on the vegetables, just maybe a little salt and pepper. And that's it. I want to thank everybody for watching that. And let's go ahead and take a bite and see how we did. This is the same piece I just showed you a second ago. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. 
for a big bite. Hang on. Mm. Uh, yeah, it'd definitely be better on a bun, different on a bun. It's really, really good in a wrap. So I'm going to go with the wrap. Um, those buns have a lot of uh, sugar in them, sometimes high fructose, you know, chemicals. Um, it's fine if you don't got diabetes, but <laughs> got to watch it sometimes. Anyway, that was fantastic. That really was fantastic. I can't wait to devour that. Might even make me a second one. Thank you guys for watching again. And please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave me some comments. And really hit that like button for me. It doesn't cost you anything. Uh, there's no fees involved in this channel. Uh, you can just hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. It really, subscribe just really means follow. I don't know why they call it subscribe. You're not paying me anything. Uh, but what it does is the more followers, subscribers I get, uh, the more the algorithm of YouTube says, hey, let's show Scott's video to some more people. And that's all, all I'm after. Thanks for watching. See you soon.